Let's continue with our test on application of derivatives. Now here you need to find maximum volume of a conical cup. A conical cup is constructed from a circular piece of paper of radius 5 cm by cutting out a sector and joining the resulting edge. What is the maximum volume of the cup? We have given you a diagram here to help. So this is the circular piece of 5 cm radius. So you cut out a sector like this and fold it to make a paper cup. And you need to find out the maximum volume of the cup, right? That is the question. So I'd like you to pause the video, do the solution, and then look into my suggestions. Now this is how I'm going to approach this problem. What we need to do is maximize volume of the cup. So let's find out the relation for volume of a cone. We know volume of a cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h. Now here we have two variables. One is radius, the other one is this height. So to find maximum volume, we need to write this equation in one variable and then we'll write find derivative of the function and then find the maximum volume. But now, how do we do that? So let's find relation between R and H with the help of this right angle triangle. So we'll use Pythagorean theorem. So we get R square equals to 5 square minus H square. Let's write down. R square equals to 5 square minus H square. So we need R square. So need, no need to change this. R square is good enough. So substitute this value here. So volume is equals to 1 by 3 pi. 5 square is 25. So I'll write... 25 minus h square times h. So that is the volume of our cone. Now we can simplify this and then write in terms of volume in terms of h. So we can just expand this out and then write down as 1 over 3 pi times h. So 25 pi h. This is what we get here. 25 pi h so this looks like so let me write like this otherwise it's going to create confusion minus 1 over 3 pi h cube pi h cube right so that is our expression of volume now when we have this we want to find maximum volume so the approach is to find derivative of this volume with respect to h and then equate it to zero to find a critical number. Now, let's do it here. So V dash H is equals to, so derivative of this function is 25 pi over 3. 25 pi over 3. And derivative of this part will be pi over 3. And this is 3H squared times 3H squared. Right? So that becomes the derivative of this function. Now the critical point is when v dash h is 0. So if v dash h is 0, then we have a critical number. So let's find this critical number, which is 25 pi over 3 minus 3, 3 cancels. So we get pi h squared. So that gives us a value of h as equals to 25 over 3 square root which is 5 over square root of 3. So this is the height for which we get maximum volume. Now how are you sure whether this is indeed a maximum volume? So we'll do first derivative test to ensure that this is indeed the maximum volume. So for that let's take a point which is h equals to 5 over square root of 3 and let's take a point on right and left side of this. So this is a point where h is 5 over square root of 3, right? Now, and we'll check what happens to v dash h, which is this expression, right? Now, let's look into this expression. We know this is equal to 0 if h is 5 over square root 3. If I take a number more than this the negative quantity will be higher and so 
v dash h will be negative. So I get negative in this side. But if my value of h is lesser than this, then this negative quantity will be lesser and will get a positive value for v dash h. Therefore, v dash h will be increasing before h is 5 over square root of 3 and decreasing thereafter. So indeed, we do have a maximum for h equals to 5 over square root 3. Correct? So that is how we prove that we have a maximum at h equals to 5 over square root 3. So we find now that maximum volume is for h equals to 5 over square root 3. Now the question is find the maximum volume of the curve, right? So to find the maximum volume, we can either find radius from that equation or we can use this formula for volume and then find the value. So we'll use the formula now. So v equals to 1 by 3 pi times h. So pi times h values 5 over square root 3. So we'll write 5 over square root 3 within bracket 25 minus h square which is 25 over 3. Correct? We can simplify and find the answer. This is 5 pi over 3 square root 3 and inside we get 3 times 25 is 75 minus 25 over 3 right and that is 50 correct <coughs> so this is equals to 5 pi over 3 square root 3 times 50 over 3 right so that is the maximum volume which you will get in this case which is 5 times 50, so let me write down here, maximum volume is 5 times 50 is 250 pi over 3 times 3 is 9, 9 square root 3. So that is the maximum volume in centimeter cube in this particular case. So that is our answer, right? Now let's look back at the approach which we adopted here. So approach is write down the formula first, which is 1 by 3 pi r square h, then relate r and h with the reference to this right triangle and then you have equation one variable we prefer to have it in height h find the derivative equate derivative to zero to get the critical point and then show that at that critical point you indeed have a maximum and that we did by first derivative test so before that critical number rate of change was increasing and after that rate of change of volume with respect to height was decreasing so it was indeed a maximum at h equals to 5 over square root 3. And then we substitute the value of height 5 over square root 3 and find the volume. So that is how you should be doing this question. Thanks and all the best.